Today we'll be looking at the crossing, which is the first part of the process of the conventional breeding programme. Our current breeding objectives are to breed new raspberry varieties, both floricane and primocane, which combine superb fruit quality with good agronomic traits and pathogen resistance, will be economical to grow and suitable across the whole supply chain. At the end of the fruit season, we identify the varieties that we want to use as parents and the traits that we want to combine. We consider fruit quality, productivity, pathogen resistance or tolerance, season, chill requirement and then many other traits. This is our crossing house, which is an insect proof glass house. This means that we can do all of our crosses indoors and out of season. And we don't use any pollination bags since we don't have to worry about accidental pollination from insects. We collect our source of pollen by picking open flowers in the glass house. Raspberry flowers are self fertile and have both the male and the female parts on the same flower. A flower consists of five sepals, five petals and a ring of stamen which circle around the group of the female parts, the pistils in the middle. Raspberries are actually an aggregate fruit which is a cluster of many small fruits and each pistil between about 100 and 120 on a raspberry must be pollinated to form the aggregate fruit with good fruit set. Emasculation is the removal of the male parts of the flower. In raspberry, we do this just before the flower starts to open to avoid self-pollination. And here we're using a scalpel to cut into the sepals between the pistil and the male parts, the stamen. This will leave behind the pistils on the plant. After one or two days, the pistil will open up and sh this shows us that they're ready to pollinate. We'll use the dried pollen from the variety that we want to cross pollinate with and brush it carefully over the stigma at the top of the pistil. All of the flowers on the same lateral will be pollinated with pollen from the same variety. After about five to seven days, we see the ovaries starting to swell. This is a good indication that they've been fertilised and over the next few weeks in the glass house we see the droops developing into something that looks like a raspberry and after five or six weeks, once the fruit is ripe, the seeds are mature. So you can see here on the ripe fruit the distinct droplets that make up the aggregate fruit. Each droop contains a mature seed which we will extract from the fruit. Each seed from the fruits shares the same parents, but they're all genetically distinct and we refer to them as sisters as these will form a biparental population, also called a family. The seed will be chilled for a few months and then treated before germinating into seedlings and each plant will have different combinations of the characteristics of the parent plants. So that was a short snapshot of the, the crossing program, which takes up about the first quarter of our year. I, I hope you enjoyed this episode and follow us on LinkedIn if you want to know more about the breeding programs and James Hutton Limited.